It's time for Esports WRC here in Rally Sweden. Rally Sweden is round three of the Esports Championship and was run alongside the real Rally Sweden last weekend. It represents a unique challenge on the WRC calendar, being the only snow rally, a surface that is difficult to master and represents a huge change from the tarmac the of round two of in Germany. Rally Sweden is also significant for esports drivers as it represents the start of the new Teams Championship. The Teams Championship is being run much like a manufacturer's championship we are used to seeing in traditional motorsport, with drivers individual points being added to their teams tally each round. There are six esports teams taking part this season. We have TX3 led by last year's champion Nexel, WED led by the well-known community member Greekman. Esports and Cars, my team, with three of last year's finalists, as well as BAM, Race Clutch, and GTR Esports. The team's championship is looking like it's going to be a hard-fought battle, so it's sure to be a good watch. Now, let's take a look at the stages drivers will be facing in Sweden. With the season progressing, it's clear to see the pattern emerge of a quick super special stage followed by a long, challenging epic stage. Firstly, the super special stage Karlstad is a short loop that's a copy of the real super special stage where Neville got caught out last year. A thrilling stage for spectators that includes this jump over the bridge with fireworks going off as you go. It's expected to only take one and a half minutes to complete. Then it's on to the difference maker, the epic stage. This is 14 kilometers of testing snow conditions with snow banks and trees lining the stage ready to cause havoc should you make a mistake. Towards the end of the stage we have another feature taken from the real rally Sweden and that's Collins Crest. A big jump where drivers launch their cars into the air in spectacular fashion. With many fast sections through the stage Drivers will have to be at maximum concentration for the full length of near 7 minutes. Now let's take a look at how the top drivers got on. With only one week since Esports Rally Germany, it was always going to be a challenge to get enough practice in for Sweden. Performing well right from the get go was Crispar who took the lead followed closely by Hesto. With the quick times coming in, it was evident that the strange esports physics from previous rounds was not an issue anymore and drivers could utilize their knowledge from single player mode. In the end, the drivers able to make the most of their knowledge were John Armstrong and Subi. Waiting right till the last possible moment, they put in a super fast time that left everyone else blown away and claimed first and second. The familiar names of Nexel and Jono closely followed. Three different winners in three events, it's looking like a cracking season. The competition really does continue to step up, resulting in some proven fast drivers not even making the top 10, such as Speed Booster, Drank Arias, and Komatsu. On PS4, Mahala got the fastest time, sneaking ahead of Scallop Fox and myself, Monkey Man. The top of the leaderboard seems to be dominated by Hyundai's during this rally. With a very small difference between cars, it seems that the consensus between the top drivers is that Hyundai just has a little edge. Now if we look at how this affects the overall standings. Armstrong jumps into the lead with Nexel now holding on to second. Subi also claims third with Jono dropping to fourth. Then it's still too early to tell who will emerge on top of the battle pack from fifth onwards. Three close rallies have provided plenty of action so far and I'm sure there's plenty more to come through the rest of the season. Sweden was of course the start of the team's championship which is an exciting new addition this season. With John and Subi being part of WED, they absolutely dominated the first round, taking a commanding lead in the championship. TX3 managed to claim second by a slim margin over esports and cars, with both teams having three drivers with good results. The three other teams are already looking like they have some work to do to catch up. That's it from Rally Sweden, next up is the first gravel event of Rally Mexico. It should make for a good event with plenty still to unfold in the championship. If you watched this far, I have a quick tip for you, never use first gear. 
As I said previously, using the lowest gear ratio is the best, which means even at the start line, second gear is low enough. Of course, this only applies to the game. It's slightly different to what you would experience in a real car. That's it for this one though. If you want more info on how the eSports WRC works, then watch my video linked on screen, including info about the team's championship. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next round. Cool.